ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video brought to you by Rev. today i'm going to show you how to set up a better virtual dashboard uh, than the previous ets2 telemetry virtual dashboard that we had this these new dashboards that we're going to be using are from simhub which is the better place to get a virtual dashboard and not only that you can add these to your obs so if you've been seeing my streams recently that we have a dashboard in the bottom left and this is how it's done First things first, go to Google and download SimHub. It will take you to the race department. I'll probably link this down below. So once you've got it downloaded, install it, open it up, and it will look like this. So then depending on which game you're going to be doing it for, today we're going to be doing it for Euro Truck Simulator 2. And there's a couple of things you need to do. So if I go down to Euro Truck Simulator 2, and in the top right you see this game needs additional configuration. So open the instructions. Okay, I'm on the how-to, it'll tell you here. So basically all you need to do is add these plugins into your plugins folder on the Windows 64 and the Windows 86. So let's go to my let's go to my Steam directory, Steam apps, common, your truck simulator 2, bin, and here they are. So what I need to do now guys is go to the Windows 64 plugins and post one in here, which is that one there. S E H TS2 telemetry 64 and if we go back to the bin and go to the times 86 same again to the plugins and here's the other SEH2 S2 telemetry times 86 uh, and obviously if you go to the open instructions this is where they are so put, paste them in there I don't think I had to do this first time I think it did it automatically however it is telling you now on the instructions that's what you have to do you will now notice that the yeah it prompts you to the SDK has been activated unfortunately you have to press OK Installation is easy inside. Place both folders inside your ETS2 installations. Don't place the folders. Just take the plugin. Just take this DLL and put it into your, like I say, your D drive, new Steam, Steam apps, common, Euro Truck Simulator 2, bin, Windows 64 plugins. Put one in there, and then the other one, obviously, like I say, into the Windows Times 86, which is there. Okay, once you've done that, what you need to do now. So this Sim Hub software is what I use for my uh, external gear indicators and my my other led i have under the monitor the gear and the the speed indicator however it has got some awesome dash awesome dashboards is much which, which what we're showing you today so if we go to dash studio there's loads that's already got if it hasn't got a vehicle here that you're using that you want a dashboard for for instance it won't have the scania dash here i just googled if we go back to here go googled uh, scania sim hub dash same hub dash uh, and that same again takes me to the takes me to this race department download it open it install it and then when you come back to your sim hub it will be in here so there it is so what i want to do now in this dash studio is click open in browser and as you can see is this is the browser ip and here's all my dashes so depending which one i wanted so let's just go scan your dash Okay, let this load up and the good thing about this one is you don't need to leave Chrome open so let's copy this copy this link go to my OBS and then what I want to do if this is the profile I was using go to add window sorry no add browser browser okay put the link in here paste okay so if I close this one there's my dashboard Put it wherever you want it jobs are good and right so if i go into the game now you'll see that this will work so i might as well do that i've already got the game on so that's uh, that helps okay it takes 10 hours to load up come on you're a truck you can do it you got the power there we go let's go on kate's account because she's got no mods on the go continue the modded profile will take a while to load in it's got pro mods or maps on the region in dome app so just go on kate's profile quickly obviously that ip that i put in the browser in obs um, i'm pretty sure you can put that on any of your tablets go to the ip uh, but this is pretty much showing you how i use it in my obs 
Come on, you're a truck. Why don't I need an S SSD, boys? Okay, let's just go drive. Okay, I can't see because there we go. Sorted. And you'll see that the dash will start up. Like I say, if it hasn't, if SimHub hasn't got the dash that you want, uh, if you Google it, I'm sure they'll find it. Okay, hopefully you can see the dash moving. Like I say, you don't need to leave that browser open either, as long as you put that IP into your browser and you've got SimHub open, then it'll always be there. Let's come out of this. As you can see, it's now all turned on. I don't know if you saw my game then. Oh, the screen's gone black. Anyway, guys, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Any questions, ask below. Hope it helps. Like, subscribe, and sim hope for the win. Peace.